Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create and train a machine learning model to predict the annual spending of a customer on an e-commerce website. So we are going to use one of the models which we have learned till now in a machine learning with Python video series. So this is somewhat the continuation of that video series. Now I'm not gonna tell you which model we are gonna use because I will show you how you can visualize your data and decide that which model you have to use for this unknown data set. Okay, so I'll provide you with the data set. I downloaded this from Kaggle. So I'll provide the original link as well as my GitHub link where I'll put this notebook as well as the data set. Okay, so now let's get to our notebook to write our code. Okay, so now our first task is to import the required libraries. So we're gonna need three libraries NumPy, Pandas and matplotlib okay okay so now we'll use our pandas dot read csv method to read the data from a csv file so let's create a variable data set it should be data set okay so then pd dot read csv because pd is the short notation for pandas uh, read csv and then the uh, csv file name here so what was the file name for me uh, okay e-commerce customers so i'll copy the name from here okay dot csv now let's run this there we go let's see how our data set looks data set dot head to get the first five i guess uh, values from this data set there you can see it is having these parameters first is email second is address third is avatar then average session length time on app time on website length of membership and year and yearly amount spent this is the dependent value or the output that we want to get okay so i don't think so we'll need these two parameters because this won't affect our yearly amount set spent so we'll actually visualize all the parameters to see that what fields are affecting the yearly spent amount so now let's use our numpy method to create independent and dependent variables so let's say independent variable is x and dependent variable is y okay so data set okay so now let me explain you what is happening here so x is our independent variables so we don't need this emails variable we don't need this address variable and we don't need this avatar variable either so these four parameters are what we are interested in so we have extracted all the rows and from the third column which is 0 1 2 3 from this average session session length column to the seventh column which is zero one two three four five six seven which is yearly amount spent column so this column this column this column and this column are included and the last one is excluded so let me show you visually that how our x uh, array is looking this is a numpy array there you can see these four variables and our y variable is having only the array of our dependent variable okay so now let's visualize these uh, variables to see that how they are related to each other okay so we'll draw a scatter plot so first of all what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna create an capital x variable and then i'll see i'll select each of the uh 
कॉलम सो दैट वी कैन विजुअलाइज ईच ऑफ द कॉलम्स है सो लेट से फ्रॉम थर्ड टू फोर्थ ओके सो फ्रॉम थर्ड टू फोर्थ सो लेट्स राइट आवर मैट प्लॉट लिप कमांड सो दैट वी कैन विजुअलाइज ओके सो नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज हैपनिंग है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ पीएलटी सॉरी ए फिगर इंस्टेंस बाय पीएलटी डॉट फिगर देन वी हैव एडेड द एक्सिस है देन वी हैव प्लॉटेड द डेटा सेट व्हिच इज एक्स एरे दिस फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड दिस वाई एरे आवर लास्ट कॉलम सो दैट वी कैन सी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन आवर डेटा एंड द कलर ऑफ द पॉइंट्स विल बी रेड so let's see and x is not defined because we have we haven't run this block of code here so now it's running now let's see our uh, graph there you can see there is no relation between x and y data set so we don't need this column let's see the relationship between fourth and uh, the uh, fifth one Zero, one, two, three, fourth. So the fourth column. Let's see that. What is the relationship? Ah, uh, no relationship here. Also, it is slightly following a linear pattern, but still, the data points are scattered. Now let's see our uh, fifth column. Where was that? Okay. So from fifth to sixth. Let's run this one. Let's run this again. Again, a very scattered plot. Uh, now let's see our second last column. So now let's go back to our plot, and there you can see this is perfectly following a linear pattern. Okay, now if you want to understand more theoretically that how linear regression model works from behind then you can watch the video where i have discussed the theory of this model in this video i am just going to use that model to predict our outcome so let's quickly uh, split our data set into test and train now whatever i am doing here whether it's the importing of package whether the numpy slicing whether the loading of the data set all i have discussed in in special dedicated video so if you want to understand more that how these things work everything you can watch the video it will be present in our machine learning with python video series okay so i am just going to split our data set Okay so now we have splitted our data set into test and train now let me explain you what i have done here i have imported the test train split from our sklearn dot model selection this is the part of data preprocessing so we have divided our uh, data set into four section x train x test y train y test so basically into two sections train and test train data set will be used to train our model that how the data set is forming the relationship and test data will be used to test that how well our model has been trained so the x and y variable here the x was the dependent variable and y was the uh, sorry the x was the independent variable and y was the dependent variable test size is 0.2 or the split will be 20% which is 80% of train data and 20% of test data and the random state is 0 so random state is basically the random 
arrangement of of the selection you can use any number here 1 2 3 4 5 any number it won't matter but if you want to see the same result as mine i recommend you to use this value as zero but it won't matter any value you use okay so now let's see how our x chain and x test uh, data set is looking just a second x chain this is your x chain data set and let's see x test okay and same will be for y train and y test so now let's move ahead and actually apply our linear regression model so as you know we are having multiple independent variable and one dependent variable so we'll be using multiple linear regression which is just similar to simple linear regression but it is having multiple independent variables so let's import our package uh, sklearn.linear model package now let's create a linear regression uh, regression instance let's say regression and this will be simple linear regression only linear uh, just a second linear regression okay and uh, this is a function okay now let's apply this uh, linear regression model to our chain data set so what we'll simply do is we'll do regression which is our class object here dot fit just a second dot fit and this will be x train and y train okay so now let's run this and train our model so our model is trained and it was pretty quick because our model is small having only 500 rows okay so now let's create a y predict uh, just a second now let's create a y predict uh, value uh, sorry uh, variable to store all the predicted value from this uh, multiple linear regression model so what we'll simply do is we'll do regressor sorry regression regression dot predict and and as you know we have saved our x test uh, data set for the testing of our model so we'll use that and let's see how our y predict variable is looking or what the value is inside there you go and let's select one value let's say uh, at the first index and let's see what is the corresponding value for uh, y test so there you can see the predicted value is 489 and the actual value in our y test is 482 let's see some other value let's say on the 65 uh, 65 won't be present i guess uh, at the sixth one this is 466 and this is 458 not that close but still we can consider them let's see the second one 374 and 370 is still close so the accuracy might be 92 93 percent let's see the 10th value five seventy one and five fifty nine okay so we have created the model we have trained more trained the model and i have delivered what i have promised at the starting of the video okay so we have created a machine learning model to predict the annual spending of a customer on an e-commerce website okay this was a short project on this multiple linear regression model and i'll be coming up with more of these types of project so stay connected okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye